starting off with a bang at number 20. Kyron Wilson left the audience speechless with a shot that defied all odds at the 2022 Kazoo UK Championship. As the black ball ricocheted off the side pocket and slid along the rail, it found its way into the centre pocket. The idea to try and go into them here, and I think he is the way he's aiming on the cue ball. Whoa! <laughs> How do you like that one, JB? Unbelievable, look at this. I think I might have seen it once before, <laughs> unbelievable. Transitioning to moment 90, Barry Hawkins, in a face-off against Judd Trump, played a shot that could be dubbed one of the most unexpected of the tournament. The red, teetering on the edge of the pocket, came to a stop short of expectations due to a touch too gentle. Wow. Barry Hawkins, six. I know he can't believe it, and nor can I think anyone in the Metropole Arena. Yeah. He's smiling, but he ain't amused. And now for moment 18. As the tension built, Ding took center stage only to have his cue ball launch into the air, bypassing the intended red and adding an aerial twist to the match, much to the audience's astonishment. Becomes the best of five. Oh, hello. I was about to say, it becomes the best of five. I hope he hasn't done any damage to the tip. Well, what he has done is, it looks as though Ding was about to clinch there before the miscue. We've seen him do it a few times in this tournament. For moment 17, witness Sean Murphy's brilliance in the 2023 Betfictor Welsh Open. Cornered behind the black, he managed a miraculous escape, leveraging the side pocket's jaw to pocket the red in an unforeseen double shot. How about this? Bit of side. Bit of side. I told you it's a magician! Moving right along to moment 16, where the plot thickens. Ricky Walden cleverly snookered Mark Selby behind the brow. Despite Selby's determined attempts, each more precise than the last, the misrule had to be enforced, adding drama to the duel. First class. First class. Oh. <laughs> Look at the two faces of the boy. Absolutely. He's asking for the white line to be put up, Mark, but we can't show you the white line. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit tricky, I'm afraid. To say, he's been well shot, but he was never on line with... Aye, aye. Oh, oh. Look at all the Stepping into moment 15. Scott Donaldson turned heads with a remarkable fluke. After striking the red, the ball took an improbable journey off the side pocket and rail, ultimately dropping into the centre pocket on the opposite side. So this is the fluke. Look at this, Dave. That's incredible, isn't it? In fact, it, it goes along the rail of the table and going to the opposite middle. That's, that's virtually voodoo, that is. Never mind flukes. That's black magic. Next in line, moment 14 showcases more from Kyron Wilson, whose cue ball incident took an unexpected twist. Not only did the ball exit the table, but it also took his Q-tip along, a rare and challenging scenario that tested his composure. Oh, oh. dear me. <laughs> it made me jump. Anyway, frame over. Jamie Jones not going to carry on. Dear me, that was funny. Glad we're not in 3D. For moment 13, Stephen Maguire pulled off a fluke that had to be seen to be believed. The red ball bounced off the pocket, then whimsically rolled back in, reversing its direction in a stunning display of snooker sorcery. Back against the wall. And as I say, he's got to play Don't Miss Snooker. Oh! Hi, hi! Hi, hi! the cue ball going? Well, have you ever seen anything like that in your life? My 
goodness. <laughs> the most amazing shot. Coming up, moment 12, where Luca Bressel faced an unforeseen challenge. After potting a red, the cue ball unexpectedly grazed the yellow and veered straight into the pocket, turning the match on its head. Oh, didn't want the kiss. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, unlucky. Oh, didn't want the kiss. Where's the cue ball going? Oh. Continuing to moment 11. Stephen Maguire executed what many consider the most improbable escape in snooker. His shot combined precision and a touch of luck, leaving spectators and commentators alike in awe. That could be in the pocket this time, is it? No, a little bit harder and he's got it, you know. Well played. What a shot. <laughs> Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Next, Moment 10 introduces a high-stakes scenario with Judd Trump snookering Ronnie O'Sullivan. After two failed attempts, Ronnie's third attempt saw the cue ball ricochet off five cushions to finally strike the green. That's what he's tried, and it's a pretty good effort. He got both. He got the green safe and he got the white in behind the black. Excellent. Yeah, good shot. Ronnie's got to be very careful here. He might play this at pace. Played two cushions. That's not worked. Foul. And a miss. The reason he's playing two good cushions jump. is obviously because he doesn't want to push the green over the corner. I think it's worth another couple of goes at least at this. That's what he's looking at somewhere along that line. He's misjudged it again. It's just sliding off the cushion there. Wow, and a miss. Judd Trump four. Change of plan now. But this is even more difficult. What an effort. What an effort this is. This could be one of the great escapes. Absolutely incredible. How would he have even thought of that shot with us? <laughs> that is one of the finest escapes I've seen in many a year. Now, I'm not sure if he can get in behind the black again. He might be able to. He'll send the green onto the blue there. Oh, he's got him again. This is another brilliant shot. He's got to swerve it to make that angle. Moments 9 brings another highlight from Ronnie O'Sullivan, who effortlessly potted a snookered yellow. The cue ball, after a couple of rail kisses, nestled perfectly into the center pocket. 18-9. You never know. You never know. There's six pockets on the table. Advancing to moment eight, Michael Holt found himself in a bind. After potting a red, the cue ball landed snugly between two others, leaving him trapped and unable to clear the way despite multiple efforts. What?
found this. This. Yeah. <laughs> Stubbingham Four. Four. Now at moment seven, Jimmy White turned a desperate situation into a display of sheer audacity. Faced with the final black, he opted to pot it with his hand and succeeded, leaving everyone in disbelief. Back of it! Perfect. <laughs> right on the black. As we approach moment six, Ali Carter set a formidable snooker against Stephen Maguire, who responded with a legendary escape. Utilizing the pocket's jaw to his advantage, Maguire not only hit the target red, but also turned the tables on Carter, a move that garnered widespread applause. Hi, Carter one. Here we go, he's playing to rattle it in the jaws and run up the table. Hit and hope, hit and hope, hit and hope, hit and hope, what a hope! Where's the cue ball going? Unbelievable! Ridiculous. So you didn't see the skill side of that shot then, No, Joe? not. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't pick the shot out, to be honest with you. <laughs> Moment 5 features Judd Trump in a strategic play, executing a frame-winning double on the pink against Zhu. Number four, Anthony McGill faced an ironic twist after a clean strike on a distant red left him snookered by his own play. Needs to be on the black though. Needs to be on the black, otherwise it's all over. <laughs> Touching ball called, but can he get through to the black? Doesn't look like it from his reaction. Sorry? Please. Green. Moment three marks a pivotal point in the 2022 Betfred World Championship final. Ronnie O'Sullivan, with the score tied, fluked the decisive black against Judd Trump. There's black all the way around the angles and onto the ball cushion. Nearing the end, moment two introduces Jones in a tricky predicament. After a stunning long pot on a ret, he found the cue ball surrounded by rets, complicating the next move for both him and Marco Fu, leading to a tense exchange of strategies. Finally, Moment 1 caps off our list with Stuart Bingham in a dramatic finale against Mark Selby. With the score locked at 9 all, Bingham's unexpected fluke on the pink tipped the match in his favour, sealing his victory in a truly unforgettable fashion. Wait for the pink. Wait for the pink. Wait for this pink. Unbelievable. 
and still no emotion from Mark Selby. That's a wrap for this video. Which moment did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.